Ladies and gentlemen, it finally happened. After months, if not years of waiting, we finally got new information detailing 10 minutes of gameplay happening tomorrow for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's talk about it. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel that guy right here and I wanted to make this video short and sweet just to give you the insider information keep you up to date you guys know I love doing these gaming news videos and so this one is massive as Nintendo just came out and it's all over the news that Nintendo is going to be showing off a new Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gameplay on March 28th if you're watching this video today at the time of posting it that is tomorrow and we are very excited because up till this point we've received uh, about two or three you know, short trailers for Tears of the Kingdom, the Breath of the Wild sequel, but we have not yet actually received any actual, you know, dedicated footage of gameplay of how this game is going to play and more importantly, how it's going to be different. And so in previous videos, I have made statements about the importance of actually getting, you know, actual gameplay out there to the, the people so that people can make a, you know, an educated guess as to whether or not they think that this game is worth the $70 price tag. Because we have to keep in mind that this is the first game that Nintendo has released on the Switch that has been of a increased price tag at $70. Now, some people are totally okay with that. Some people are okay going in blind with this game. And if that's you, totally fine. I totally get that. For me, I like to make educated, informed decisions about the purchases that I make for games, even when they were $60. So now the fact that they're 70 makes it that much more important to really just have as much information as you can. I'm not saying they gotta spoil the story, but I am saying that it's important to to know what you're getting into and fully be aware before you you know you shell out that kind of cash anyway this article comes from polygon that you know and it's all over the news so and so this article i pulled you know just from polygon i'll post the full link to the article if you guys want to read it for yourself it's short and sweet but it states that nintendo will showcase 10 minutes of new gameplay footage for the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom on tuesday offering a deeper look at the game hosted by zelda series producer aiji anuma the gameplay presentation won't be a full-on official nintendo direct apparently but will give hungry Zelda fans something to chew on before Tears of the Kingdom launches in May. Now, this is really big news. And like I said, it's something that I've elaborated on and something that I've reiterated in a number of my Zelda videos. This is a game that I'm personally very excited about. And I'll, while I don't think that they should reveal anything too massive about the game, I think going into, you know, May and almost being about just a little over a month away from the release of this game, I do think that it is incredibly important that fans have at least something to look at and something to analyze before they go out and make this decision and i think it just builds the hype to have a little bit of gameplay maybe some insight and some info into some of the new features that we can expect to be you know anticipating in the sequel the article continues on and says that according to a tweet from nintendo the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom's gameplay presentation will be shown on nintendo's youtube channel and will go live march 28th at 10 a.m eastern 7 a.m pacific Nintendo has made a habit of releasing lengthy gameplay showcases of upcoming games ahead of their launch, such as Splatoon 3 and Xenoblade Chronicles 3, that reveal new gameplay mechanics and post-launch support. Tears of the Kingdom's iteration of those gameplay showcases is, a, is atypically short at just about 10 minutes, so Nintendo may be holding some of the game's details and story beats close to its chest for launch. Now, this is really exciting news. As I, Like I've said before, I think that this is one of Nintendo's biggest releases in a long time outside of the original Breath of the Wild. So the sequel's coming out, people are really hyped about it, they're excited about it, and I think they want to know more. So I'm hoping that this 10 minutes, which will likely go way more quickly than we would hope right 10 minutes when we think about it it, re it really isn't a lot of time but it's enough time to give us just some some brief information of some of the mechanics and some of the things that we can expect from this game obviously going into this thing there are a little bits of information that i want i'd love to see something about the mechanics i'd love to see something about potentially the upgrades to the crafting system if that has evolved in any way and i'd love to see something about the weapons one of my biggest questions about breath of the wild sequel is are the weapons going to degrade over time are they going to break you know that i think that was a, a mechanic that really was divisive a lot amongst the fan base whether or not people really enjoyed that or you know they want that to return or they're like that was cool for the first game but it would be nice to have weapons that that don't break obviously all of this and more i would you know probably discuss in a new video i think i'll do a separate video talking about some of these things you know if you guys want to know some of my hopes and expectations or this Nintendo Direct, but let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this? Is there something that you're excited about? Are you going to be checking out the Nintendo, you know, uh, reveal 
for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And let me know on a level of one to 10, how excited are you for this? For me personally, I'm really looking to seeing more information and more insight into this game. I'm really excited about it. And I hope that what we see gives us enough confidence that this game is definitely going to be worth the increased price tag. But yeah, this is going to drop pretty early tomorrow morning, especially if you're on the, the, the west coast of the US or, you know, depending on where you are in the world, obviously that time will be different. For me, it's going to be pretty early, but I'm going to try to get my full reaction to this video up to you guys as soon as possible when it drops and then probably go over, you know, full breakdown and reveal and review of some of the biggest things that we learned from this 10 minutes of gameplay. So expect those two videos tomorrow. As always, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the love. Subscribe if you're new here. Drop a like on this video if you do enjoy the content. As always, my name is that guy. Rye, and I will see you in the next video.